So I just got home from uh, watching the game and just, you know, my quick initial thoughts. Uh, <laughs> man, offensive line is horrible. Uh, <sighs> my gosh, the whole freaking team, man. Jim Schwartz, I, I, I am completely convinced now at this point that you need to go. You, you need to go, man. I, I am completely convinced at this point. How do you, you know, Tennessee, the Carolina game, and then, then, and then tonight, man, for some reason you, uh, you, you feel that it's going to work playing prevent defense on third and 15, fourth and 15, and, and, you know, any third and long situation. You want to play everybody back at the sticks. <sighs> you, you reminded me of Chip Kelly, attitude-wise, man. Very stubborn. You're insisting what you're doing is working, or will work. But it has not worked yet. And as, as a matter of fact, as far as I'm concerned, playing defense like that is a contributing factor as to why we have lost, especially in these three games. Whatever, man. But it's kind of an anomaly, though, that we lose this game and not commit one single penalty the entire game. Normally, you would think that that's a great thing. And you would come out on the winning side of that. So it, it's just, it's strange to me that we commit zero penalties the entire game and yet we still lose. Man, I don't get it. Golden Tate, I, I was, I, I'm still excited about him. Um, I didn't think he would have the monster breakout game um, just because he's not completely familiar with the playbook. He's not completely familiar with the, the, the verbiage at the line of scrimmage and things like that. So, you know, they were just getting his feet wet, which, you know, was kind of expected. I mean, I, I, I keep... Zach Ertz is Zach Ertz, man. 14 catches, I what, 140 some yards, two touchdowns. If 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 people don't consider him the best tight end in football right now, I don't know what it's going to take. Look at his body of work this entire season. Games like tonight. So, man, I don't know. Just some quick thoughts real quick. I'll probably finish this video tomorrow. Um, next week we have New Orleans. At New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. It is what it is. We're four and five now. One and one in the division. I'll finish this tomorrow. Man, it's a sad day today. The weather's a good representation of how that game went last night. You know, I, I have to put trust in the coaching staff, which is hard at this point, but I have to put trust in the coaching staff at this point that they can correct uh, or, or improve on what, what happened last night. I mean, it's, it's, it's pathetic, man. You, you can't expect to, you know, win championships like that. I mean, looking back, okay, let's just look back on this season so far, okay? <sighs> Through nine games, we're sitting at four and five, and one and one in the division. And we have not, we have yet to win back-to-back -back games this year. Every week has been win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, with the exception of the Tennessee and Minnesota games, we lost those back-to-back. -back. Other than that, We've been win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. You know, you, you can't expect 
to win championships. That's not championship football. It's it's not. You know, and that's why we're sitting here at four and five. And one one in the division. And let's be honest, winning the division is the only ticket to the playoffs at this point. <laughs> we're, we're not as good as the Rams. I hate to say that, but we're not as good as the Rams. It's obvious. We're not as good as the Saints, who that's who we go into their house next week and who we play. And, and I'm going to be honest, looking at the body of work from this team this season and then looking at last night, that's a, that's a scary game, man. That's a scary game for us. And to be honest, the Eagles have not given me a reason to feel confident about that. So, you know, it is it is what it is, man. Um, I'm just hoping that we have a fighting chance at the end of the year to, to get into the playoffs. I mean, it's crazy. I, I was at the Super Bowl parade last year. I was, I was there when Doug Peterson was like, this is the new norm. Having parades down Broad Street, this is the new norm. I was there for that. And what pisses me off is looking at this season, how it's gone. And thinking back on that. You can't make proclamations like that. As much, you know, as much as Eagles fans, we loved it. I loved it. We all loved it when he was talking about that, that this is the new norm. And we want so hard to believe that. But when you talk all of that talk, but this is how you follow up with it. it just, it's, it's not a good look, man. It's, it's not a good look. It doesn't make you look good. And, you know, it, it, I, I can't, like, man, I'm still, I, I'm still finding it hard. Last night, we went into the game without our top two cornerbacks. Sidney Jones and Jalen Mills. And then we lost Darby. So, our top three cornerbacks... Are out now. I, I I have not seen the extent of Ronald Darby. Um, but you know when you have your backups pushed into starting roles, and then you have your third stringers pushed into backup roles, that 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 brings your special teams guys into into playing more often on the field, and they're they're out there playing in place of these injured players. You know, last year we had all kinds of major injuries, but we were able to overcome them. I think the injuries this year are mounting up more than they were last year, but it's just this this team. I don't know if this team became complacent, if they became uh, entitled, so to speak, because we won the Super Bowl. I don't know what the case is, <laughs> but it, it needs to be fixed. And every week that goes by, and we have a game like this like we had last night, every week that goes by and we drop a loss is just, man, it's just making it that much harder for us to dig ourselves out of the hole. So, through nine games, through nine games, we're below 500. The defending Super Bowl champions were below 500. It, it it's pathetic, man. It's pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. But you know, Doug Peterson said that having Super Bowl champion parades down Broad Street is the new norm. Well, I'll tell you what, Doug. If you plan on making this the new norm or making that the new norm, you need to fix this right now. Right now, and I'm tell you what, New Orleans is a powerhouse. They are a powerhouse team, man. They beat the team that, you know, most people considered the best team. And, 
and then we're going into their house. So if, if you want to make Broad Street parades the new norm, you need to start this week. You need to come up with a flawless, perfect, dominating game plan against Sean Payton and Drew Brees. I mean, that's just fact. Otherwise, we're going to be sitting at four and six. And then at that point, yeah, playoffs will probably be pretty much unrealistic, even trying to win our division. So you need to get it together. Doug, you need to get it together. And it's it's not all on Doug, I'll say that. I'm just I'm just on him right now because I'm I'm thinking about what he said. This is the new norm. It's not all on him. The players need to play better too. Jim Schwartz. I already spoke about you, dude. I, I'm That's all I got, man. I'm just gonna stop now. Hmm.